Final word on the Toyota Tacoma driver's side grab handle. Is it any good or is it a hindrance? That's right, I wanted to do just one final video, I guess, on the Toyota Tacoma driver's side grab handle. You know, this thing right over here. You know, I've had it for, I don't know, probably about three weeks, something like that. So I've had uh, some decent experience with it. I've been driving the Tacoma a lot. The Jeep Gladiator has been getting a bit of a rest. Um, and primarily, I gotta say, as strange as this is over the excitement of having the grab handle and I know you probably think I'm nuts well how does having a grab handle make you want to drive the Tacoma more well I guess it's just because of one of those new very useful things you know that you put in your truck and it kind of reinvigorates it a little bit as strange as that may sound and I just look forward to getting in and out of it now you know I gotta say before um, for me anyway, and part of it is my setup. You know, I park in my garage underneath my underneath my lift. So I have to be aware when I get in the truck that I don't step up and slam my head on the, the lift, you know, because it's up above my truck. So having the grab handle uh, gets rid of that for me. I just reach in, I actually use my right hand most of the time, grab the handle, and it's really more to be honest, just to steady me as I get in the truck, you know, so that I have something to grab onto, hence the grab handle, right? So the final word on it, what what's it like? What's it like having it, the install? You know, I did an install video on it. I'll link that down below if you want to see how it's installed. Um, again, after some reflection uh, on the install, I will say that the bolts were a pain. And I know the company that's uh, distributing this or manufacturing it uh, has had a few complaints about the wrong size fasteners, bolts that didn't fit, um, speed nuts that were too big. Um, it's growing pains, I guess. It's unfortunate, but it's a new product um, for them uh, and for the Tacoma. They're the first company that I'm aware of that has come out with any kind of a solution for a driver's side grab handle for the Toyota Tacoma. And I'm thankful that they did. I've been wanting this, as I've mentioned, for a few years now. Um, and we finally have it. Is it worth the, the tediousness, I guess, or maybe even some frustration? I know there have been a, a handful of people, probably more, that have been frustrated trying to put this in and line those bolts up. I know that because they've told me. Um, I haven't heard of anyone who sent it back yet, so it hasn't been uh, so bad that they've completely thrown in the towel, but they've had some frustration with it. And yeah, it's worth it. I think that, you know, when you're all done and you get it installed, it's worth having it in there because of its functionality, the, the use of it, right? Um, as far as the look goes, you know, I had mentioned in my original video that we got to do a little turnaround here. In my original video that it was a little bit different shade of black, I suppose, uh, on the color. I gotta say, if it is, you really don't notice it in the truck at all. I don't, it doesn't like glare for me. It doesn't pop out when I go in and I'm looking at it and think, well, gee, that's, that's really off. Not at all. So if there's anybody out there that complains about that, you must be ultra, ultra picky. Because to be honest, sitting in here now, I don't really notice any difference at all. The safety of it, I've talked about that before. There were a lot of questions about it interfering with the airbag. I did my own research uh, after I started to get a lot of those questions. I was never really concerned about it before, to be honest. But after doing some research, that airbag is a side curtain bag. 
it blows out along the window right here. So it kind of comes out on the other side of that grab handle. I personally make your own decision, your own uh, choice, I guess, but I don't have any issue with it. I don't see it as a safety concern at all. Um, I mentioned the functionality of it. It's perfect for the Tacoma. Um, works great, always there uh, when you need something to just steady yourself getting in and out of the truck. Uh, the other big question that there has been about this is visibility. Does it block your visibility? I mean, you know, it, it sticks out a little bit into your field of vision. I did a video on this as well. But to readdress that, it, it sticks out a just maybe a half an inch, right? And when you look over, you know, unless you just turn your head and, and don't move at all, I mean, I can't imagine in any such situation where that would block visibility enough to cause a problem. Again, if you're ultra sensitive to those kind of things, you know, if you're the kind of person that has a, a speck on your windshield and it drives you insane, well, then maybe it's not for you because it is there. I think initially when you first put it in, um, you're going to see it. You're going to catch it out of your eye, out of your peripheral vision because it's something new. You're not used to it being there. You know, particularly if you spend a lot of time in your Tacoma or you've had it for quite a while and you've really gotten used to driving it, right? I mean, like anything, when, when it's something new, we humans, we're going to see it, right? It's going to be there. But I don't see it as a problem. It's, it's not hindered me in any way. And I've spent quite a bit of seat time with it, you know, at drive throughs or pulling into gas stations or even pulling into my driveway where I kind of have to look off that way a bit just to make sure that I have clearance, like pulling in against my lift. Uh, no issues whatsoever, no concerns. So in the end, I would say, yeah, it is, uh, it is an awesome mod, long time coming. And I think Toyota should be putting these back in the Tacoma anyway. You know, they did have it in the Tacoma prior to the 2016 model year. And I think Toyota should be putting these in the truck standard. I don't think it's something that we should have to go out, source, put in ourselves. I think it's crazy. And for the cost, and that's the last thing that I'll mention, I guess, well worth it. It's about a hundred and I think it's 170 bucks on sale when I bought it. Might be slightly over 200 bucks normally. I'm not exactly sure. You'd have to check it out. Um, I did get it from Tacoma Beast. The uh, manufacturer of it is KTJO 4x4. Now you can buy it from either place if you'd want. Um, I love it, highly recommend it. Just have a little bit of patience when you're doing the install because you're gonna need it. Leave a comment, let me know if you've done the install. What did you think of it? Did you find it to be horribly difficult or just requiring a little bit of patience? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator, which comes standard with a driver's side grab handle, I might add. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.